Cause my niggas, I stay bulletproof. 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 Wait, hold on, tell me what got into you. Into you. I search around the room like, where you? Where you? Friend, don't step to me, I'm like, who you? Who you? And you can say what you wanna say. But I stay on this shit that's bulletproof. Wait, hold on, tell me what got into you. told me that I was that, that, that I'm weird and I'm crazy and he was like only people who say the stuff that you say are career criminals yeah all right y'all so the reason I'm saying this is because I went to jail I ain't go to prison but I went to jail and I was in jail for 11 months while I was in jail I had a good time honest to God truth I had a good time number one is because I knew I was going to get out and I'm a middle we adapt. That's what we do. That's our that's in our genes. We adapt. We're like chameleons. We adapt to whatever situation we're in. So I was in there for eleven months. I knew I was getting out. I know I wasn't going to prison. I was in jail. So I had fun. I, I it, 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 it was like it was like fucking um Boy Scout camp or some shit. You like, didn't have fun. Like, like, I was in there, and I had fun in there. You didn't have fun. You made the best of your time when you were there. Yeah, and had fun. But it wasn't fun. I had a routine. Jail. I got to read books. I got to go to the law library and read up about the law junk. I would have never even known while I was in there. I got to study the Bible while I was in there. I learned how to play all different types of poker, Cuban poker, regular po poker, Texas Hold'em. I played checkers. I played chess. You know how much time I was looking for people to play chess around where I live at? And nobody wanted to, no, couldn't find nobody to play chess. And then go to prison, guess what? Boom. Now I can, defect, I can perfect my chess skills because I got people in there lining up to play chess. In there doing that. Got to look at TV. They had three TVs. They had one that was always on news, one that was always on Spanish jump, and one that was always on English jump. Had a, in certain ones, we either went out every day to the yard to go play basketball, but Club Key West, the jail in Key West, from the outside, it looked like a, a hotel or a hospital. On the inside, it looked like a hotel or a hospital. Have your own room. Got your own little room. You go out, leave out of your room. You go downstairs. Everything got a ping pong table, chess table, checkers, checkers, dominoes, cards. Everything is a a basketball court. Every 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 like cell block had a basketball court with no dough on it. You just walk right in that junk any time of the day, any time of the night, and start playing basketball. I love basketball. So that's what my so most of my day in there. When people went off to go, when people went to go to um the to, to go to court and came back week before when they come back they don't got no mattress because we take their mattress off their bed, hide their mattress under somebody else's bed, put their mattress under somebody's bed we know they ain't gonna f with. Cause we know when they come get us to take us to court they wake us up at three o'clock in the morning, feed us. Put us on the bus, make us wait on the bus for an hour, drive us 10 minutes to the courthouse, get there at 6 o'clock, got to sit in this cold ass holding cell where you're freezing to death. They don't give you no blankets or nothing, but you're freezing to death in there the whole time. So cold that you can't go to sleep in there, waiting on them to come to court. And then you go to, then your court is set for 10 o'clock. So now you're sitting in that little cell until 10 o'clock. The judge see you and say, ah, reset to next time, send you back in there, got to wait till everybody else finish. Come back. By the time you get back to the place, it's 5, 6 o'clock. You eat dinner. You don't even want to eat dinner. You just go lay down in your bed and go to sleep. We knew that's going to happen. We knew, hey, such and such is, ain't going to try such and such. So let's take his bed, put it under such and such bed, make his bed up nice and neat. So when he come in, he ain't going to pay attention that he got two mattresses. He just going to fall flat down on that jump, put his head on, uh, the cover of his head and go to sleep. And guess what other such and such going to do? Nothing. Gonna sit there and wait for such and such get up and be like, damn, dog. Man, these niggas sitting here playing. They put my mattress under your mattress. You think I can get it? So we used to sit back and wait. Oh, this nigga ain't gonna get this nigga scared to get his mattress, y'all. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Jump like that. I sit in there, listen to niggas, telling other niggas stuff. They fit a snitch on them. I know they fit a snitch on them. 
I'm listening to them telling they waiting on new people to come in so they can call their lawyers and talk like, look, man, is a nigga in here for such and such? This nigga in here for 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 for, for burglary and jump. And then he said he gonna get out because y'all can't find the, the the weapon and whatnot. He said, I know where they put it at. Call up the state, tell them. They shorten my time, I know. They waiting on that. So they sitting in there every time new people come in there, they rush up to them. Hey nigga, what you in here for? Duh, getting all the information ready to tell. Niggas that you see on the streets all day, every day, being hard, being tough. Niggas, I'm all this, I'm Mr. Montreal. I wish a nigga would. Then they get in jail, turn straight, bitch. They on the phone crying to their girl. They got a cup over their head because they don't want nobody to see that they cry. You're a man, I can't be in here. I just need to get out. Like, nigga, on the streets, you was all that. The same girl, you was whooping her ass up and down the street. Now you crying to her to get out. Mm-hmm. Now Jody over there knocking her down while you stuck in here crying. Mm-hmm. When niggas got out, they held their word. It was a lot of people in jail. They kept their word. They said, bro, when I get out, just know, 5 o'clock that same day, go to the east windows. I'm going to have some chicks out there for y'all. And guess what? Go out there, boom. Chicks out there. Look out the window. Them not on some of kissing and touching on each other, licking on each other on the top of the car. Most of them don't got nothing on. They either naked or half naked out in the parking lot. Giving us a show. There's niggas over there jacking off in the corner. That part wasn't funny. He's like, oh, this nigga over here. Nigga, what the fuck you doing? Nigga, put a cover on or something. That's but weird. all in all, had fun. Yeah. I used to cut hair, so I didn't need nobody at home to send me money. I used to write poems for people, so I didn't need nobody to send me money. I used to make these little things for people. Ain't nobody to send me money. I was making my money when I was in jail. I had fun in jail. Jail, jail is too dirty to have fun in. Cute. Jail. The jails that I was in, these comfortable-ass jails... Mm. With these beds that was uncomfortable the first two weeks and then was comfortable after that. With these, with, 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 with this, with, with this good ass food. The food wasn't good. When I was in Marathon, in Marathon, they gave us they so they county jails give you like slop, like here nigga this food and they're like okay fuck it I'm gonna eat it. In Monroe County down in the Keys. They be like, here, sir, have some food. Today we have barbecue chicken served on the side of green beans and mashed potatoes with some butter and a little garlic sprinkled on top. And over here we have a good, some grape juice for you, sir. Anything else today? Oh, shit, that's what I'm talking about. Jail wasn't fun. You just made the best of it while you were there. But what I'm trying to say was it wasn't miserable. So I didn't care that I was there. I don't ever want to go back. I don't like having my freedom taken from me. I don't like being able to do what I want to do. I don't want to go back and it's a, a, a correction officer that think that she's fine and want to try to do the jump to try to get you to like look at her and jump. Like, oh, you get your nasty self from over here, lady. But if it was in there a long time, you'd be like, get your mother. Of back. course. Ew. It's just I wasn't there long enough, and I knew I wasn't going to be in there too long, so I'm like, ew, you get your nasty stuff from over here, lady. But all I'm saying is, it shouldn't have been that comfortable. I should have went in there and said, bruh, this is the worst experience I ever had. Q, I was in there, Q, I was able to relax. I was able to relax, Q. I was able you to You have relax. nothing else to do but to relax. Exactly. No bills. No nothing. I didn't have to work for the food. The food was coming. If I wanted a little extra something, guess what? The money I made from cutting hair, writing poems, making stuff for people, I buy me commissary. And I sat in there. You know what I call jail and prison? You call that the 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 the, the uh, hyperbolic chamber. You ever seen somebody go to jail and prison, and then you see them 10, 15 years later, they look just the same as they did when they went in. Like, damn, nigga, you look 
They're like you look when you in. Just a yeah, you can tell you a little older, but yeah, nigga, you don't look like you had any kind of stress or anything. The hell happened? Cause they went to the hyperbolic chamber. It was like shh. that should take years off you. Jump make you look like a newborn baby. Well, and they busy sweating the whole time, so so it's like man. That but prison jail shouldn't have been like that. So if you even though excuse me, what you were in there for, you said um basically you shouldn't have been in there. If you would have been in there with it hot being hot because you said it shouldn't have been like that. So what if it was hot and uncomfortable? Then now I would have that's what I would have expected. That's what I then I, I don't think your viewpoint jail. would be the same. No, I expected jail to be like that. When I was in there, I was thinking that's how jail was gonna be. And then when we was at, at when we was at on um, at the county at, at Dade County downtown, when we was there, I was like, Ugh, that's the nasty one. That's what basically where they just hold you at for a minute before you get it's, it's like the sixth floor and higher is where the people who gonna be there there are gonna be but if you down before the sixth floor or whatnot, then you just in like this temporary jump. Those conditions nasty, it's stained, it's ugh, look how nasty everything crunched together, everybody squished together. It's people laying on on the top bunk, on the second bunk, and then the other person there is underneath the, the bottom bunk because there's not enough space. People laying in the middle of the floor. You gotta like walk over niggas and jump, niggas snowing, it's niggas farting and stain. It's a close little encounter. That's how I thought jail was going to be. And then they were like, all right, you've been here for two weeks. Now we're going to send you to where you're going to really be. And then they sent me to the Starcade. And it was just back, like a big open dome room, dorm room where you had bunks and stuff, but it was more space. They no guard in there. So we, we, we policed ourselves, did whatever we wanted to do there. That's how I learned a lot of the little crowds I learned while I was in jail. And then they sent me, they said, you know what, sir? You deserve to be in a better jail. Let me send you to Metro West. Then sent me to Metro West. Once again, open door. Got one officer sitting in the front. Don't give a care what y'all do. Long as y'all ain't fighting and killing each other. Everything else, go ahead and do it. So we in there having fun. And then they said, guess what? You have a case in Monroe County in the Florida Keys that you got to go and see the judge in that. So that, your 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 court date is set for a month from now but we're going to take you now since we already we got prisoners that need to go down there either way so we're going to go ahead and take you down there and then take me down there and I get in Key Largo for a week and our jail cell shares walls and a door with the female jail cell so like I was only been there for a week end up being there for a month we send in snail mail to each other the girls they go and play in their little stuff and Wipe it on the on the thing, write a little a little nasty little freaky letter, slide it under the door, and then you get it. You go, oh dang, so oh, that's sweet y'all sweet are sweet. so and then gross. You go and you write her something back, and then put a little something on there and slide it back under the door. Then when y'all get ready and go to like the, when y'all go to court or whatnot, all y'all in the same bus, the girls in the front, the dudes in the back, but y'all talking to each other, this this this, this and that. Y'all in the courtroom, they right behind y'all or y'all right in, behind them. Jump like that, just stuff like that. So you get to see females while you're there. You get to talk to females while you're in jail through the door, all that there. Like when you get out, when your court day, we gonna meet up. Duh, duh. Jump like that because we criminals, so we should date. Let's date. And we then, and together. then they was like, they were like, ah, Key Largo jail is too small. Let's send you to Monroe County to on um, to Marathon, the jail in Marathon. Let's send jail in Marathon, and then the the good Christian folks down there. Brought us good ass food three times a week, fresh hot food. Normally you don't get salt and sugar and all that junk in Dade County jails. There, your food is seasoned. They give you garlic, buttered mashed potatoes, green beans, a whole chicken thigh with the leg and the thigh. Two on sometimes. Tan it up. Then they say, you know what? You deserve even better treatment. Let us send you to Key West. When you have your in, indoor basketball court and all the other things you need. Your own cell. Here, have this luxurious place. 
Relax. You don't have no job. You don't have no bills. Just relax, sir. I spent the jail to be how the county was. Then they start moving me to all these other jails, and I was like, oh, man. If I had to stay here for a little while, I don't think I'd care too much. The only real reason why, only real reason why I was ready to get up out of there because I have my kids out, 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 and I didn't want my kids to come see me while I was in jail. So I just tell my girl, don't bring my kids up here. But other than that, if I didn't have no kids, I would've been like, ah, whatever. Whenever I'm out, I'm out. Whatever. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. It wasn't a fun. It was. It was tolerable. We were able to tolerate it. You don't able to tolerate anything. You adapt to any situation. Cause my niggas, I stay bulletproof. 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 Wait, hold on. Tell me what got into you. Into you. Into you. I search around the room like where you. Where you. Where you? Friend, don't step to me, I'm like, who you? Who you? Who you? And you can feel what you wanna say. But I stay on this shit that's every day. Yeah, cause my nigga, I stay bulletproof. Bulletproof. So tell me, nigga, what got any?